Hello friends. In this lecture, I will explain DHCP protocol. Uh, this DHCP actually stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This uh, protocol actually used in uh, order to provide networking networks detail to a new device. For example, uh, we people are having Wi-Fi network. So whenever you connect your device to that Wi-Fi network, your device automatically get its own IP address so there must be some uh, device who are providing these details so in this lecture we will see how DSCP works so uh, so first let uh, first of all we are taking here a simple example that what is the need of DSCP so in this example as you can see we are having four machines every machine is having a IP address so with ip address in order to connect to a network we need some other details like uh, default gateway what is the subnet mask and what are the dns address <coughs> sorry so these all details are required <coughs> let's assume now a new machine is just connected to the network so a new machine is, uh, is connected to this network using a wired cable now after connecting to the, to the network this machine has to be configured when we say configured it means network ip address a subnet mask default gateway all these details has to be filled in has to be configured on this machine now the first option the first option is that uh, the person who is responsible for handling these networking that person which so this person will manually configure all the details on this machine IP address so this person has to remember that okay I have allotted IP address till 15 so the next IP address is going to use on 16 and default gateway and uh, your subnet mask so all details will be configured by this person so this is manual configuration now the problem with manual configuration uh, there are chances of errors it might be possible that this person forgot which IP address has been uh, already allotted and it assigns same IP address or uh, by, uh, while entering uh, IP for subnet uh, mask or while entering in subnet sorry in IP address it uh, that person might uh, make some error and this uh, machine will get wrong IP or wrong network detail and this uh, system cannot uh, access network services so <coughs> so this manual configuration has some problems because of this problem so these are the problem we have already discussed so another solution which is a better one so in this solution whenever a new device is connected to network that device will obtain all the networking detail from a designated server and that server is DHCP server so uh, let's assume here if uh, this IP is the new one it automatically get all the details required to connect to this network and uh, the system who provide all this information is known as DS DHCP server and this node is considered as DHCP client so we will see how this uh, information will be exchanged what is the interaction between DHCP and DHCP server and client so first of all we will see how many entities are there in DHCP protocol so first one is the DHCP server so this server actually provide IP address on demand whenever a new machine is connected to network it will provide the IP address to that machine for a a particular duration so it offer actually IP address on lease so once that duration is expired uh, this machine this server can assign same address to other system so this server also maintain a data storage so in that data storage this server maintain how many addresses are already allotted and how many addresses are available second entity we are having DHCP client any device which is going to connect to network and which is going to fetch details from DSCP server is considered as DSCP client and third one third one is a DSCP relay agent 
what is the meaning of this one uh, in a organization when we make a when we uh, establish networks so there uh, are chances that there are a uh, number of local area networks but for all local area networks we want to install only a single DHCP server so in some LAN there won't be any DHCP so whenever in those LAN new machine come the, those machines send a DHCP request so that DHCP request has to be forwarded to designated DHCP server so in every LAN there will be a agent that is known as DHCP relay agent so what is the role of this agent in case if DHCP server is not in the current local area network so this and uh, this device will be there this machine will be there and this machine will forward request to the DHCP server who are in another LAN <coughs> so using DHCP relay agent we can configure multiple LAN with single DHCP server total entities we are having three DHCP server who provide network details DHCP client who is requesting for those details and DHCP relay agent who forward DHCP request to DHCP server if that DHCP server exists or available in another LAN so let's start uh, how they interact DHCP server DHCP client so this machine we are considering this is a DHCP server and these machine already connected with this network and we are assuming this machine is uh, connected to network recently and is not having any IP address so this node will send a message or actually it will broadcast a message that message is known as DSCP discover so if, because this is a new device this device is not having any idea what is the server DHCP server IP address or to whom I should ask so it will broadcast it will broadcast that I am looking for DHCP server who is he so it will broadcast a DHCP discover message so these packets will go to every node in the network so when this DHCP server receive this DHCP server uh, discover message this server machine would know that someone is looking for me one more thing uh, to consider when this I node is sending these packet in these packet as a source address it will be included zero because this node doesn't know its own address in the beginning so source address in these packet will be given as zero now DSCP uh, discover message when received by server server will reply it to the that targeted machine how there, uh, there was no source address in this packet so this server will use the hardware address of this machine so the next packet server will send uh, <coughs> so this is actually DSCP offer this is not a uh, this is wrong this is mistake so this is DSCP offer packet this is not DSCP discover packet so on server when received DSCP discover packet from client it will send a reply to only that client and that packet is known as DSCP offer so this DSCP offer will be sorry so this is the DSCP offer this packet will be sent by the server to the client so what does this DSCP offer packet contains it contains the IP address of this server plus which IP address this server is offering to this machine so all these details are included in this packet so this node received DHCP offer in case if a network is having multiple DHCP servers so this machine will receive multiple DHCP offer packet now it's up to this machine which offer it will select so now this machine has received DSCP offer in response to DSCP discover packet and let's say this machine is agree with the IP address offered by this server so in that case this machine will send a packet that is known as DHCP request so this DSCP request 
message actually broadcasted. This node no okay IP address of DSCP server, but still it is broadcasting this packet. Why? It might be possible that other DHCP server also has sent its offer to this node. So when those DHCP server receive this broadcasted packet, they would know that they are not selected for that machine. So whatever offer they have given that is declined. So this server has received DHCP request. It means this server would know client is interested to take that offered IP address. So now the next step, what the server will do? The server will check whether that offered IP available or not. So it will try to see whether this IP is available by uh, using ICMP packets. So in case if that IP address is available, it will make a entry in the database in its persistent data storage that this IP address now won't be available and it will prepare a packet DHCP ACK so this is a acknowledgement and this packet will be sent to that machine confirming that whatever IP address you have uh, offered to you is allotted to you uh, it might be possible that uh, when this server received DHCP request message and meanwhile that IP address is allotted to some other machine so when this server received dscp request from this node it will check whether that ip is available or not in case if that is not available this server will send a dscp and a c negative acknowledgement it means your request is not processed so here we are considering uh, offered ip available and that is allotted to this machine so this acknowledgement when received by this machine this acknowledgement uh, also receiving all uh, having all the details required to connect to network so this machine will set its ID the DHCP client running on this machine will set its IP address to the address uh, in, uh, embedded in this packet so now this uh, machine is configured so now this machine can uh, access network services now during uh, uh, their communication at a time when this uh, machine is about to move to another network or about to be disconnected from this network so th at that time this machine will release its IP address once its work is done when they are about to move they are about to disconnect it so in that case this node will send a DSCP release packet to this server so when this server receive a DSCP release packet it will mark that entry which it has already uh, previously created that this IP address is not available now it will mark as a available this IP address is available now there is one more uh, message type for DSCP that is DSCP inform what is that uh, it might be possible that we are having a DSCP server and a new device which is uh, about uh, which is con uh, newly connected to the network that device actually configured by administrator manually we are having a DSCP server but still that configuration actually done manually and this person has supplied some IP address or all the details to this machine so whenever such kind of scenario happens this machine actually send all the networking details to the DSCP server so there so there there won't be any kind of inconsistency uh, if uh, there is no DSCP inform mechanism so what will happen this person actually manually configured this machine so DSCP server is not having any idea whether this IP address is allotted to someone so from point of view DSCP server this IP address is free and it might be possible that it will allot same IP address to another machine so to make data storage at DSCP server consistent this node will send a message DSCP inform to inform DSCP server that the uh, my configuration has been done manually and the IP address given to me is 16 so please mark this IP address as unavailable
so this is the way how dscp works thank you very much